Hello and welcome to episode 341 of the Flysome Historian. For this episode, we are going to be looking at the Curtis JN4 Jenny. The Jenny is an American training and utility biplane first flown at some time in the year 1915. Over 6,800 were produced, and it's probably the most famous American built aircraft of the First World War period. They were used to train the vast majority of American and some Canadian aviators during World War I. Post-World War I, thousands were sold as surplus, some for as little as $50. There were variants used for training, ambulance work, and air mail, among others, and it was made famous throughout the world post-war as a barnstorming aircraft. Military operators of the Jenny included Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Cuba, Nicaragua, the United Kingdom, Taiwan, and the United States. The JN-4 Jenny can be found on museum display in the country of Canada, as well as the U.S. states of Oregon, Ohio, Illinois, Minnesota, Florida, Washington, Texas, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maine, Michigan, Kansas, Missouri, Wisconsin, New York, Utah, and California. The Jenny is powered by a single Curtis OX-5 V8 air-cooled piston engine with a power output of 90 horsepower. It can reach a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour and a service ceiling of 6,500 feet. For the purpose of the video today, we are in P3DV4, and we are flying an aircraft that has actually been around. This model has been around since uh, Flight Simulator 2004, and it was redone a couple of months ago by one of the guys over in the Flight Sim community at Simviation to work properly in P3DV4. So, without further ado, let's jump in the cockpit and let's turn the sound on. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is advance the throttle so we can get in the air.
And we're going to make another landing on runway 34 and then call it an episode. Well, folks, that concludes episode number 341 of the Flight Sim Historian, featuring the Curtis JN4 Jenny.